We'll go now to the scorers uh, table to pick up the lineups. Paulton High School. They'll be facing the Hawks from Herman High School. Team members for the visiting Holton Shire Towners, coached by John Donato, beginning with a freshman, number 11, Stephanie McCarthy. Also a freshman, number 12, Kara Kelly. Freshman 14, Kaylee Gray. Sophomore, number 42, Spring Che. A sophomore, number 20, Jennifer O'Leary. Also a sophomore, 32, Tina McAfee. Number 30 is a sophomore, Tori Dow. And a junior, number 22, Jennifer Upton. For the home team, the Herman Hawks, beginning with a junior, number five, Marcy Burr. Sophomore, 21, Heather Pace. Junior, number 24, Amy Luce. 50 is a junior, Tori Adams. A freshman, number 30, Judy Buzzle. Sophomore, number 40, Charity Munson. Number 22 is a freshman, Laura Smith. Sophomore, 54, Steph Huff. And 44 is a freshman, Carrie Klukey. Now for your starters, beginning with a junior, She's a forward, number 25, Andrea Spencer. For the Hawks, a sophomore forward, number 14, Heidi Pace. For the Shire Towners, she's a junior guard, number 21, Erica McCarthy. For the Hawks, a sophomore guard, number 20, Janice Adams. The Shire Towners, a senior guard, number 33, Jessica Sullivan. For the Hawks, a freshman guard, number 25, Liza Dowdy. For the Shire Towners, a center, senior, number 43, Liz Nelson. And for the Hawks, a senior forward, number 32, Carrie Downing. The Shire Towners, a senior forward, number 31, Jill Donato. And for the Hawks, a senior center, number 52, Amy Perry. Your official, Mr. Mr. Lynch. You are invited to stand and join us. The Herman High School Band, under the direction of Kerry Flegel, honors our country with the playing of our national anthem. The Herman High School Band playing the National Anthem this afternoon. Usually the team of the lower seed plays uh, the Star Spangled Banner, but the Holden Band apparently could not make it today because of weather conditions. Yeah, they had to make a decision at uh, 6.30 this morning, and at that time uh, the weather was pretty bad, uh, so they decided not to, to make the trip. Uh, the Holton girls got on the road around 9.30, and they said it wasn't too bad coming down. Okay, Liz Nelson and Amy Perry will be jumping center. Perry, uh, 
five nine center for Herman Nelson standing at five eleven our first uh, telecast of the nineteen ninety three basketball tournament is underway the Herman Hawks have the ball in the white uniforms knocked out of bounds there and tipped out by uh, by Holton knocked out off from uh, Jessica Sullivan and Herman will put the ball in play Kerry Downing has it Downing gets it back looking inside class B semifinal just underway pace inside we've got a tie up Nelson pulls it away from her and the arrow is pointing toward the Holton basket we're going to see some full court pressure right now by Herman that's their plan is to see if they can't wear him down coming up with it and kicking the ball loose uh, Sullivan has it knocked loose but she gets it inside to uh, Donato and Eric McCarthy will work it around shot by Sullivan uh, Donato is up and off Nelson puts it back up and draws the foul Nelson 34 big points in the quarter final game a game that Holton won against MBI 61 to 39 Liz Nelson at 511. And on the line for a couple. Yeah. And she's been around and been on, uh, I guess, some championship teams. Uh, the Shire Towners, a big team leader this year, missing the second. And holding on the board first, 1 0 with 7 22 remaining in the first period. Inside Dowdy for Herman, takes the jump shot and draws the foul. Foul is going to be on Erica McCarthy as she uh, tried to pressure Dowdy out front. Liza Dowdy, a 5 6 freshman who is a real contributor for the team as a freshman. As we said, Keith, she's uh, had a chance to play out in that uh, Husson Summer League that Kissy Walker runs. Uh, she's been playing out there since she was a sixth grader along with many of these girls, so uh, it's not really her first year of, of playing with them. 5-6 freshman and a very good ball handler. Another whistle on the shot. And somebody stepping in too soon. Bolton getting pressure in backcourt from Herman. McCarthy with it. Bump gets the ball back. And having trouble now it comes up across the midcourt. Strikes on the dribble and draws the foul. It's going to be a blocking foul that time on Carey Downing as she rotated over to try to cut off the sideline at midcourt. And she gets called for the block. So the Shire Town has put the ball in play. We're tied at one apiece. Our uh, first uh, game, first semifinal game of the Eastern Maine Class B tournament. Class B basketball today and again tonight. And Class C games tomorrow. Inside, Nelson in a crowd puts it up and in. Nice. Triple team that wow. time. That's just an example of the kind of jump shot she can pull off uh, even when she's covered just goes straight up and pops it in. Now Herman in backcourt. Holton with a two point lead. Inside shot is up and off by Pace. Tipped and knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Holton. Herman had a nice chance to uh, capitalize that time. Holton was in the uh, extended zone press. And if you can beat that down low with a pass, you should have an easy shot. And uh, Herman just couldn't put it in the hole. Downing gets it back in the corner after passing out to Adams and travels. Coach Tim Thornton of the Herman Hawks on the sideline. 627 in the first period. Again, that pressure coming from Herman. Long down court pass and out of bounds. Let's see who got it last. I guess uh, tipped by Herman. And so putting the ball in play right now for Holton will be Jill Donato. Jessica Sullivan and a foul inside being called on Herman. And it looks like that's going to be Heidi Pace picking up her second foul and she's going to go to the bench right now as number 50 Tori Adams a 5'7 junior checks in. Jill Donato will put the ball in play along the end line, looking inside, gets it outside. Now to Jessica Sullivan into Liz Nelson, puts it up and in off the glass. Nice move between two defenders. And Nelson has picked up uh, another basket. It's five to one. 
with 6.08 remaining in the first period. A hard pass intended underneath. That time, Dottie firing it through a little too high and out of bounds. She penetrates well, Keith, uh, just a little off on her pass that time. And it comes to Nelson, hands off to McCarthy, running by. The Shire Town has come down quickly. And now they'll bring it back out. McCarthy will bring it back out and set it up. Guarded closely by Adams. Look at the coverage on Nelson. Constantly with two to three players on her. They realize that Nelson and Spencer are inside of the strength of Holton. And Herman's doing all they can to keep the ball out of there. And the uh, good defense by Herman uh, forced a turnover. Spencer traveling. And the Hawks get it back. Right now a three on two situation. Downing to the left side. Shot is up and off by Perry. And it's over in the corner. And the whistle again. And stepping on the end line. That time was Tory Adams. Adams, a 5'7 junior, now in the lineup for Herman. The pressure still coming in backcourt from the Herman Hawks. And racing down court now for Holton. Jessica Sullivan coming down fast. Passes off on the right side for shot that's up. The time by Andrea Spencer. And now it's a 7 1 lead by the Shires. 5.16 to go and a foul. And that's going to be picked up by Erica McCarthy. So Holton off to a uh, pretty quick start here so far. Kerry Downing will put the ball in play for Herman. And to Doughty, 5-14. Doughty will work the ball, set it up. She's guarded by Jessica Sullivan, goes inside, loses the handle, picked up by Holton. So the Shire Town has raced back down court inside, intended for Nelson, almost thrown away. Nelson picks up, though, and fires it back for a long shot by Joe Donato. It's going to be Sullivan hitting that one, and uh, that's something Holton's going to need. They're going to need when uh, Nelson gets bottled up down side to be able to kick it back out, and uh, Sullivan answers that time, and we'll have a quick timeout now by Herman. With 4.49 to go in the first quarter, they find themselves down 9-1. to one. So holding off to a real fast start, uh, doing what they want to do, playing their kind of ball game, getting it into Lynn, uh, Liz Nelson and really uh, going at it early in the ball game. Well, Herman Holt. has definitely had their chances. Uh, they've broken the press a couple of times and had three-on-two situations, even three-on-one, and they just haven't been able to convert. So, you know, they are able to penetrate it, but turnovers right now are hurting them. Expect to this will would be a good ball game. There's a tournament tradition for both of these uh, basketball teams. In fact, I think they've developed a rivalry of sorts, even though they don't play on the season. Yes, we've seen some great matchups down here, here over the, the years. Right. The Hawks coming back out uh, on the court, drilling nine to one, and they have the basketball. Eliza Dotty. We'll bring it down slowly across the midcourt stripe. 4.43 on the clock, first period. Inside to Perry, but off somebody's foot, off Perry's foot. And Holton takes it back. Another turnover. And again, we'll see that full court pressure. Player to player. Jill Donato will play the ball in. Up it comes across the midcourt stripe with Sullivan. Getting it to McCarthy, back to Donato. McCarthy looking for somebody. Donato inside. Nelson uh, goes up nice and job. partially blocked. Nice defensive play that time by Perry, I guess. On the rotation, Amy, Amy Perry came over to uh, help out on the backside as they were trying to front Liz Nelson. Nelson turned around, and it was Perry was right there for the tie-up. Now we go back the other way, and the Shires get it right back. Sullivan to McCarthy. Inside to Nelson again, but uh, she's being bottled up now. She's double teamed uh, that time, losing the ball away. Herman picking it up. Or getting it back. Harry Downing plays it into Liza Bounty. Guarded by Erica McCarthy as she comes up. Adams back to Dowdy. Starts to go. Toward the corner, thinks better of it, comes back out and tries the left side to Adams. 
And in the corner to Downing looking in toward Perry. Back to Adams. 342 in the first period. Long pop off by Downing. Rebound Liz Nelson. Herman really struggling offensively right now, uh, getting the one shot, and Nelson and Spencer doing the job on the boards. Eric McCarthy guarded by Adams. Sullivan inside, stolen away by Perry. Miscommunication that time. Spencer went away to screen, and the pass came inside to an empty spot. Liza Doughty. Fox is up and off by Tori Adams. Up and a foul underneath, maybe on Nelson. I believe it is, Keith. It'll be her first foul. But that's going to be important for Herman to get some offensive boards down there. But Herman will take the ball out underneath the basket. Uh, Tori Adams will play the ball in. In the corner. Kerry Downing on the left side. Perry puts it up, partially blocked. Perry puts it up again. Nice left-handed shot. So it's a 9-3 ball game with 2.65 remaining in the first period. Struggled uh, four, battle four, and now uh, they're double teaming back four. And now this is Liz Nelson with it, and she's fouled by Adams. Holton handling that pressure fairly well right now. Uh, as we said, they don't see a lot of that over the course of the season. Each team picking up a few fouls here in the first period. Four foul fouls being picked up by the, Holton, uh, the Herman Hawks, and three personal fouls. On, uh, on Holton right now. They lead 9 to 3. Judy Buzzle checks into the game now. Judy is a 5 5 freshman, so freshman seeing quite a bit of action for her. In underneath, spin around jump shot is up and off by Spencer. Back up by Nelson. And up again this time by Spencer. Nelson a, puts it in. That's quite a combination <laughs> right there when you've got Nelson on one side, Spencer. There's four shots at the basket. Good uh, offensive boards there by the Shires. 228 remaining in the first period. Downey moving in on Sullivan. Comes back outside for the collision there. Here's a long pop that's up and off by Adams. And Holden comes away with it. Losing the ball is McCarthy, but it's picked up by Sullivan. 210. Pass is partially deflected, is deflected by Adams out of bounds. And Holden gets it back. Donato will put the ball in play. We're team up 11 to 3 right now in this first semifinal game of the tournament here at the Bangor Auditorium. This is McCarthy into Donato, knocked away, picked up though, and put up and off by Spencer. And a foul. And this time it'll put uh, Andrea Spencer on the foul line. Five. Levin Jr. will go on the line for a couple of shots. The foul was on Amy Perry. That's her first foul of the game. We've got a substitution now for Herman. Downing coming Good. back in. And so does Heidi Pace. Uh, excuse me. Heather Pace. Heather Pace coming in. Her first appearance in the ball game. Heather Pace, number 21, is a 5'5 sophomore. Shot by Spencer is good. And it's a 12 to 3 ball game. So Holton having a pretty good first period. The number uh, three seed against the number two seed. Levon comes down that time to Herman. Dowdy quickly down court. One lost the handle. 51. Sullivan back the other way. Two on two. Sullivan puts it up and in. Holton's going right at Herman. Herman's just not able to get anything going offensively. 14 to 3 in backcourt now. Herman having a little bit of trouble. There's a long pop by Dowdy off the rim. Up by Downing. Rolls around and drops through, and it's 14 to 5. The Holton lead now by 9. Pressure in backcourt coming again. Andrea Spencer looking for somebody. Gets it back to Sullivan. Guarded by Downing. And a foul being picked up by Downing just as Sullivan comes into fourth court. That's going to be two or three on Downing, I believe. So already uh, the, the Herman Hawks have picked up six personal fouls here with a 1-12 to go in the first period. And Jennifer O'Leary coming in, number 20 for Holton. And Marcy Burr 
Number five for Herman has checked in. Jennifer O'Leary guarded by Burr. Inside, shot is up and off that time by Spencer, but Nelson puts it right back up and in. She is tough on the boards, Keith. 16 to 5. 52 seconds remaining in the first period. Downing working the ball for the Hawks. Inside. Back to Downing, gets it back on the left side, pops it off the rim. And Spencer, and a foul maybe call on Tori Adams that time. And quickly uh, now the Herman Hawks. They're in the bonus. They're in a, holds in the bonus situation. The Hawks have seven fouls in the first period. A lot of that's just positioning as Spencer again does the job on the offensive board, uh, excuse me, defensive board that time. And Tori Adams fell into her in the rebounding action. So Andrea Spencer on for one and one. The team holding a, an 11 point lead very early in the ball game. Herman uh, looking to substitute, Jan get Janice Adams back into the game. Number 20. Some good substitutions right now by Tim Thornton. Downing's got two fouls. She doesn't need to pick up another one with only 28 seconds left to go. 38, excuse me, in this first quarter. And it's 17 to 5 with 28 seconds remaining. In a malfunctioning, uh, 38 seconds rather. Malfunctioning clock at scoreboard at one end of the uh, court here this afternoon. Now we've got a foul on the rebound. Herman will put the ball in play. Marcy Burr, the 5 4 junior, will play it into Liza Doughty. 5 6 freshman, 25 Doughty is freshman. This is Adams with it, going in the lane, putting up the jump shot. Off. And rebound picked up by Burr. Inside, picked up by uh, Adams, but Adams draws the foul. A quick pass in by Marcy Burr that time with a bounce pass and uh, gets Spencer to pick up a foul. So that'll be her first, team's fifth. Uh, Tori Adams will play it in for the Hawks with 25 seconds on the clock. Now it comes to Doughty, quickly to Adams. She was open for a moment, goes down on the right side, hands off for the long pop that's off by <laughs> Tori Adams. And now Burr puts it up. Nelson comes away with it for Holton. Burr probably the smallest player on the floor right now coming up with that offensive board. Shires from uh, Holton. It's knocked out of bounds by Janice Adams of Herman. And Jill Donato will pass it in to McCarthy. Jennifer O'Leary, now McCarthy at the gun. 17 to 5 after one. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, back at the Bangor Auditorium where the Holden Shire Towners are off to a fast start this afternoon. Lisa leading uh, number three Holden, leading number two Herman, 17 to five after one period. Herman's taking some a little bit extra time over there in their uh, huddle, trying to get something going offensively. Holden's thrown uh, some pressure at Herman, and they just haven't been able to get started. Well, Herman came into the tournament 14 and 4. Uh, number three, uh, Holden, 12 and 6 in quarterfinal games. It was uh, Herman over John Babst and Holden over MDI. Now, scramble four on the floor. Nelson gets it, hands it up to, to Spencer, just pushes it up in her arms. And now Jennifer O'Leary back outside. Donato with it, looking inside. And nice defensive move that time by Amy Curry, who will step in front the offensive player and knock it out of bounds. And Donato will play the ball in for Holton. McCarthy with it. Second period just underway, 17 to 5. Erica McCarthy coming around toward the right side, backing off, guarded by Janice Adams. Donato guarded by Doughty, can't get through. And back out to Sullivan. Liz Nelson squeezes between two people. Spencer gets the rebound. That's a problem right there. Uh, Herman tries to key on Nelson, and then Spencer comes up with the offensive board. Uh, so they really have uh, quite an inside game with the two of them. Now it's a 19 to 5 lead underneath. Uh, nice block that time by Nelson. Perry goes up for the shot. 
Nelson bats it away. And Herman will play the ball in. Tori Adams will play it in along the end line. 19 to 5. Bolton continues to uh, pull away here. Herman wants to get something going here soon. Outside to Burr. Over to Eliza Doughty. Doughty bottled up, gets it in. Amy Perry shot off the rim and the whistle. I think that's going to be on Nelson. That'll be her second foul. Team sixth. And it will be a shooting foul. Perry goes on the line for two shots. Again, a lot of fouls early in the ball game. Uh, seven personal fouls picked up by Herman. More fouls than they have points. Five points on the board. Bolton now has six uh, personals. This, uh, Perry was fouled uh, in the act of shooting. Nelson's coming out right now. As we said, she just picked up her second foul. And with a 14-point lead right now, good coaching move by John Donato to get her out of the game before she picks up number three. They list Perry at 5'9", but she is a tall 5'9". She plays... Uh, Underneath and is dependent upon for uh, rebounding strength. Can't get to, the roll. Interesting to see what they can do right now. There's uh, a couple extra shots at the basket for Herman as uh, Liz, Liz Nelson can't do much rebounding from the bench. Inside, Perry puts it up left handed, can't get it. Rebound taken down by Holt and Joel Donato to uh, McCarthy, guarded by Adams. McCarthy comes between two defenders on the dribble, gives it over to Donato, drives toward the basket, double team, taken by Adams, and will race the other way. Herman uh, having trouble on their shooting, down 19 to 5, inside, shot is up and off by uh, Adams, but Coach, she draws the foul. Coach Donato is up right now. He wants a quick timeout as uh, not liking what he's seeing right now. It's a timeout for Holton. But they have a big lead, 19 to 5. We've got uh, more B basketball coming up uh, after this game, a boys contest uh, between Rockland and Herman. So it's a big afternoon for Hawks fans. Tonight it's uh, Ellsworth against Rockland. Number one, Rockland came in number one. Ellsworth is number four. So that should be a good matchup. And then the nightcap finds uh, number one, John Babs, going against Camden Rockport. And the night's up. So it's B basketball all day today. And tomorrow, Class C action will begin uh, at 2.05 with Central of East Corinth going against Skank. And uh, C basketball all day on Thursday. So we've got a, a lot of basketball coming away from the Bangor Auditorium right through, uh, right through the weekend, right through Saturday. We'll go from the semis into the, um, into the finals beginning on Friday. We saw that timeout by Coach Donato. Uh, he knows that this Herman team is, they've been struggling offensively, but they have the capability with the fast-paced play that they, uh, they like to play. They have the capability of putting some points on the board in a hurry, and he didn't like what he was seeing as Herman was beating uh, Holton down the floor. So we called a quick timeout there to uh, kind of reorganize the troops. So Tori Adams bounces one off the rim. She's on for two. Foul while in the act of shooting. And getting ready to come in the game now for Holton is Spring Shea, number 42. Nelson still uh, getting a rest. She has a couple of fouls on her, too. Tori Adams puts it up. And the team trails now by 13, 19 to 6. 621 left in the first half. Donato passes it in, almost stolen, and now Spencer is almost tied up for, for the Sullivan. It's going to be uh, tied up. Dowdy putting the pressure on, and now Shea comes in. The arrow pointing toward the Herman basket, so the Hawks will put the ball in play. Downing will play it in along the end line, getting it inside. Tori Adams, now she loops it out to Eliza Dowdy. Downing looking inside, goes in herself in the lane. Can't get a shot away. Adams. Up. And good that time by Adams, Janice Adams. Right in the middle of the zone that time. And again, we're going to see pressure and batted away by Adams, but Holton will maintain possession of the ball. 
The Hawks have been bringing full court pressure from the beginning of the game. Holton has been able to break the press. They've had some trouble at times, but have uh, raced out to a pretty good lead. Now we've got a foul. As McCarthy came into full court, she was fouled by Adams. Adams picks up a blocking foul that time. Uh, came from the other side of the court to try to get over there and cut it off. Um, didn't have much of a chance of getting there. She is quick, but I don't think she's that quick. So each team in the one and one early in the ball game. 19-8. The 5-6 junior for the Hope Shire Towners, Eric McCarthy. On the line. Six points in a quarterfinal game against MBI. Holton defeated MBI 61 39. Erica McCarthy. 21 to 8. And the lead continues to widen here for the Shire Towners. Liza Downey bothered in backcourt. Comes in on the dribble. This is Downing underneath to Perry. And a shot is knocked away by Donato. Good look that time uh, by Herman. They were able to move the ball a little quicker and find the open person along the baseline, but uh, Holton gets back and comes up with a big block. Shire Town is even with Liz Nelson out, have some pretty good height in there. And in fact, they have the height advantage still, I think. And now Dowdy takes steps as she starts to make the move toward the basket. It is. It's going to be a game of quickness versus height. And uh, as we've said, Herman will continue to press throughout the game, and their hope is that they can uh, kind of wear down the bigger Holton team. And we see more pressure there, but as has been happening throughout this game, Herman gets the opportunities, but uh, either a turnover or a missed shot has just kept them uh, from really scoring yep. many points in this first half. Downing stole the ball, but uh, threw it away. Now Pace has checked back in for Another uh, steal. Herman. Here we go again. It's up, and this time it's off again by Doughty. And knocked around, kicked around. Loose. Holton has it. And we've got a traveling violation as Donato falls down and loses the basketball. 21 to 8. Shire Town is up 5 7 in the first half, and a foul as Adams starts to go inside. She's bumped by Shea. It's going to be a blocking foul. Well, it's going to be her first foul, and we are in the bonus. Herman had 17 uh, fouls before the end of the first period. Holton picked up seven shortly after we began the second period. Now it's 21 to 9 with 5.15 left to go. Adams shot is good, 21 to 10. Again, that pressure uh, coming in backward sooner or later. Uh, if they tire some of the uh, Guards, but that time they get it up to Shea, goes hard to the basket, puts it up and in, loops it right up over the rim. Tough angle on that <laughs> one. 23 to 10. Downey. Downing almost tied up by Sullivan. Now back to Doughty. 449 remaining in the first half. Now Janice Adams will take the long one-hander off the rim. Rebound tipped around, picked up by Herman. Up and off by Adams, but she draws the foul. And so Tori Adams will go on the line. Foul's going to be on Andrea Spencer, her second foul. With 4.40 to go in the first half. Herman definitely has had their opportunities. And Amy Perry, Perry checks back in for Downing. Tori Adams not a starter uh, today for Holton, uh, for Herman, and not a starter in the quarterfinal game, but she had eight points against John Bass the other night, and she was uh, quite a contributor off the bench. 23 to 11, and 440 left in the first half. Rebound coming down in the corner. Donato picks it up to Sullivan. Shires come back down for Sullivan go all the way in along the foul line side of the lane puts it in nice to have that time by Sullivan nobody stepped over to uh, pick her up she just went all the way to the hole inside moving in his pace pace had the shot that time she wanted to hand it off to Perry uh, underneath 
Inside Pace has it again. This time she'll take it herself off the rim and the rebound to Spencer. Not taking real good shots at this point. Sullivan back to McCarthy coming into fourth court, 405. And it's stolen away and tied up. And the arrow is pointing toward the Holton basket. So Spring Shea will come over on the sideline to put it in and check him back in now is Jennifer O'Leary. Nice play 20. by Dowdy that time, Keith, but as we saw, she turned right into the defender to tie it up. Four minutes in the first half, 25 to 11, Holton in front. Jennifer O'Leary, Spring Shea has it knocked out of bounds, but Holton will play it in, knocked down by Pace. Frank Shea will look inside and come out to Jennifer O'Leary, guarded by Janice Adams. Now Spring Shea in the lane of travel. Went inside looking for um, someone to pass to and took the extra step. 25-11. In backcourt. Dowdy. Double teamed. Trapped almost, gets it around, goes down the lane herself, all the way up and in. Nice move that time by Dowdy to stick with it and take it right in by herself. Good I think penetration. They, I think they thought she was going to dish it off down low, and they uh, rotated over to cover up the pass. And Back the other way quickly is Donato, and a foul. So Holton comes right back. Erica McCarthy getting ready to check back in. Waste no time, great penetration that time. Nice dish off. And Donato goes to the line. Holden seems to match every basket Herman makes with one of their own. Uh, Herman came down. Dottie went inside, went down the lane, and she had dished it off before many times to uh, somebody else, usually uh, Perry. This time they came back the other way and, and uh, seemed to catch Herman off guard and go right to the basket with uh, Little opposition. Jill Donato on the line. And three point play. 27, 30, 28, 13 now. And that pretty su substantial Holton lead continues with 311. Continuing now to pull away. Downing looking down inside. And it goes. Perry's left hander from the lane is off. And Spencer, working Spencer hard. banged it on the floor and was picked up and put up by Downing and a foul. That's going to be a little frustration foul right there, I believe. And that's going to be number three on Spencer. And quickly, John Donato going to his bench with Tina McAfee getting ready to check in. Looked like Spencer thought she was fouled and she slammed the ball to the ground to the floor and then uh, committed the foul herself. You can see the coach talking with her there. Well, she was working very hard in there. She had a bunch of uh, Herman players all around her, then lost the ball, and, in, and out of frustration, rotated over, picked up the foul. And big point of that is, Keith, now we have both Spencer and Nelson on the bench with foul trouble. So if there's ever going to be a point for uh, Herman to make a move, now's the time. What they. Uh have trouble on the line as Downing misses, and Downing fouls, and McCarthy comes back. So there might have been a frustration foul by McCarthy because she might have been frustrated that she missed the foul shot. Trying to steal it back. And now there are you three fouls see, on Downing. You hate to see those kind of reaching fouls out at half court. We got Spencer. Take a look at uh, Nelson and Spencer on the bench. And McCarthy on the foul line puts it up and in. So they're continuing, uh, doing very well without uh, the, uh, the two players in there. And McCarthy puts another one in. So Holton is shooting, is, is keeping him uh, in the lead here pretty well, 30 to 13. I'd say you're lucky if you can do this and a couple of your best players are, on, are sitting down right now and you can stay that far ahead. Well, it's showing a great team effort. Uh, sign of a good team is when one of your leaders goes down. Somebody else has to step up and uh, fill that spot. 30 to 15, uh, Sullivan loses the ball, and she's tied up by, by um, Dowdy. 
And the Hawks will get the ball back. Good hustling defense that time by Liza Doughty. And Judy Buzzle will play it in. Coach Tim Thornton of Herman. And it's loose on the floor. Knocked out of bounds and knocked out by Holden. Judy Buzzle will play it in with 2.13 remaining in the first half. 30-15, the Shire Tanners in front. Adams, Tory Adams puts it up off the rim. And it's tied up again. Possession this time goes to Holden. important right here if uh, Herman could cut this lead down to 10 going into halftime I'm sure they would uh, feel much better about it two minutes to go in the half 30 to 15 Frank Shea goes through the lane puts it up and, and off quickly back toward the Hawks Downing in the lane puts it up doesn't get the roll Shooting percentages right now for Herman have got to be very low. They've missed a lot of shots right underneath. They really have, as you said before, they've had their opportunities, but they haven't been able to convert. And Holton has, when they get down there, they've taken advantage Through the of pass. their opportunities. Now Sullivan on the fast break and draws the foul. Dribbled right through the press that time. Nobody stepped up to pick her off. They've each had similar opportunities. Holton has converted when they've been down well, on the fast break for the most part. More, yes, more that's, so that's the difference. You can see uh, she just beat everybody down the floor that time. And Downing picked up big number four foul as Perry comes back in. The other thing that Holton has done so well, as we've said, uh, when they did miss the shots, they had the offensive boards to lay it back up and in with both Spencer and Nelson really doing the job on the boards for them. Sullivan widens the lead to 16. Number three Holton against number two Herman. 31-15. Herman quickly. Underneath, lost away, knocked out by Holton. Knocked out by Erica McCarthy. So the Hawks will play the ball in along the end line. Long pop by Dowdy misses everything. Holton comes away with it. 120 remaining in the first half. Dorothy. Nelson getting a pretty good rest on the bench. I'm sure she didn't have the. Uh, well, she sat out this whole second quarter. Donato pops it in from the foul line. A little frosting on the cake that time. 59 seconds. Nice shot, nice penetration by Dowdy. 33-17. McCarthy. Now Herman drops off a bit. Sullivan almost forced to travel, but goes into a crowd, bangs into Adams. Pace comes away with it, hangs off to Doughty. Doughty goes toward the corner. Looks inside and fires it intended for Perry. Perry gets it and draws the foul. That one's going to be on Donardo. And that's going to be it's going to be three on her. So uh, this could be a tail right here as as Holton starting to pick up some foul trouble. Coming in now is number 30 for Holton, Tori Dow, a 5'7 sophomore. So right that, now Holton's got three starters on the bench. That was the third foul on Donato. And carry on for one and one. But again, there's another opportunity to, for Herman to take advantage of Colton's mistakes, and they just haven't been able to do it. Plus, they pick up a foul. A lot of fouls being called. We'll go to the other end for one and one. Each team in the one and one early in the ball game. A little frustration there shown by Coach Thornton. And at the other end, John Donato of Colton, as he watches uh, McCarthy go back on the foul line with 26 seconds remaining. Rebound coming down to Perry. And almost tied up, but uh, coming away with a duty buzzle. Inside. Shot is up and off by Adams. 
Rebound down to Holden and another foul. Almost on every rebound we've had a whistle in the last few minutes. Herman really digging a hole for themselves right now in that they had a great passing opportunity inside, missed the basket, and then in the quick turnaround of play in transition, they're picking up a foul and they're giving Holton another chance to extend that lead with 14 seconds to go in the first half. That's the second foul on Tory Adams. And more points on the board for the Shire Towners. Spring Shea. Five, six sophomore. Makes it 35 to 17 with 14 seconds remaining in the first half. The big Holton lead, number three, playing number two. Off by Dowdy. McCarthy quickly back, wasting no time, rushing down court. Two seconds, gets the shot off, and a whistle again. And a ball being called, I think, I believe that time on Judy Buzzle. No, it's going to be a player control foul, Keith. Okay. It's going the other way. No shots on a player control foul, so. And no time on the clock. Don't know if the, we have a player control, but I'm not sure if there was. Could be fractions of a second, or is that going to be half? The clock is reading no seconds, so it's we're going to call half. it the end of the half with a big lead for Holton as they head toward the dressing room, 35 to 17. So what uh, we expected to be a good close game is not close at this point. It may be during the second half because a number of uh, Shire Town ball players are in foul trouble. But so a lot of points coming for Holton from the line. Okay, second half underway. East Main Class B semifinal: the Holton Shire Towners and the Herman Hawks. 54 percent from 54 the floor. Has got a, you can't be too disappointed about that, I, I wouldn't think. Now Holton down court. Nelson back in the game. She's leading the pack. Puts it up and off. And the rebound coming away to Heidi Pace. Quickly back the other way for the Herman Hawks. Look who's back to shut that off. That's good hustle on Liz Nelson's part. I guess so. She got a little rest there with uh, a little bit of foul trouble, but now a nice shot there by Tori Adams, scoring for the Hawks, making it 35-19, a Holton lead. Pressure continues to come from Herman in backcourt. Sullivan, double teamed, almost going. Liz, Liz Taylor ties it up with pace, and Holton gets the ball back. Or rather, Herman gets the ball back. Adams will put the ball in play. Arrow pointing toward the Herman basket. And Pace with it in the corner, going in the side of the lane, back outside. Now it's almost stolen. It's tied up. Uh, rip. It's like We've a fumble. A... That's right. First and ten. Let's do it again. <laughs> a little ragged right now. And Spring Shea will play it in for the Shire Towners. And Herman not backing off at all on that pressure defense. Continues to bring it at you. McCarthy, double team, nice. Nice Working pass. The steal that time. Adams puts it up and draws the foul. Can't connect on the shot. It's going to be on McCarthy. She'll go on the line. 35 19. And a timeout. Timeout for Holton. Coach, uh, Coach Donato didn't like something he saw out there. Well, as we said, it got pretty ragged right there, and uh, Pressure by Herman created the turnover, and this time they took it to the basket. And uh, although they didn't score, they were able to draw that foul. Reminder that if you're enjoying our coverage of this year's high school basketball tournament, our tournament telecast here at the Bangor Auditorium, we hope you'll let us know about it. Simply drop us a card and send it to Basketball Maine Public Television, 1450 Lisbon Street in Lewiston, Maine, 04240. Again, that's 1450, 1450 Lisbon Street, Lewiston. And the zip there is 04240. And we thank you for doing that. We'd like to hear from you uh, about tournament coverage. And whether you're enjoying the tele televised tournament all this week. Right now, Janice Adams on the line for the Hawks. Her team down by 15, 35 to 20. Rebound coming down, tied up again. Looks like on almost every rebound, there's either a tie-up or a foul. As everybody hustles to get the boards. This is Tori Adams. Along the end line for the Hawks. Hawks in their white uniforms with blue and gold trim. Tried to force that one in there that time. Uh, 
Liz Nelson comes away with it. McCarthy. And, and a step taken by Spring Shea. A little bit of intimidation there. Herman doesn't only come at you all the time with their offense, but they I guess they keep coming with that pressure defense the entire game and hopes to wear you down that way as well. You got Spencer coming back in the game. Remember, she's got three personal fouls. And be a Spencer, number 21 for Holden. Tori Adams inside, down low, intended for pace. Sullivan has it for Holden as the ball went loose. Erica McCarthy. There's another trap. Trapped in backcourt. Sullivan, now Nelson. The high post. McCarthy goes around toward the right side, guarded closely by Janice Adams. Erica McCarthy gets it to Sullivan, fakes, can't get the shot away. McCarthy almost on by Adams and Sullivan. Inside. Spencer spin around, jump is good, and she draws the foul. Nice strong baseline move that time. Well, you're fortunate to have two. Uh, Good sized people like Nelson and Sullivan, uh, Spencer rather, inside. Not only are they good size, they uh, fundamentally they're strong. As you can see right here, Spencer turns, looks to square up to the basket. You see the follow through. And uh, with that kind of follow through, you're likely to score on those as she converts on the three point play. They both have uh, good shooting touches. Tim Thornton, coach of Herman, sidelines. Back the other way in the lane, a shot is up and off by Dottie, and Dottie draws the foul. And she'll we'll go have on to see who that's on. Dottie will go on the line for two shots. Sullivan, I believe, picked up that one. And that's her second. Pretty substantial 38 20 lead for Halton at this point, with 6.04 remaining in the third period. Plenty of time, but Halton doesn't show signs of letting that lead slip away. Now they have Nelson back in the lineup. She set out for a while during the first half. Lies to Doughty. And McCarthy comes away with it. Almost stolen. Gets it to Sullivan. Quickly now the Shires go the other way. Shot by Spencer is off. Tipped high. Knocked away. And knocked out by Herman. Knocked out by Doughty. Sullivan's done a nice job for Holton today, pushing the ball up the floor, looking to penetrate when she can, and then, uh, as we saw then, dishing off. Knocked away, nice defensive move, and we all fall down. The ball goes <laughs> to the other end of the court. And another one down. That's uh, looks like Dowdy may have been hurt on that play. Well, they were stacked up on the floor there for a moment. Well, she was all right. What, five bodies on the floor yeah. at that point? Nelson fall on, fell on top of, uh, of Dowdy. So Donato will play it in as it was knocked out. McCarthy, 38 21. Spencer, now Donato. And Sullivan back to McCarthy. Started by Adams. Spin around, jump shot by Nelson. Boy, she was outside the uh, side of the lane near the foul line. Well, we've got a foul. It looks like after the shot. Giving the shot to Nelson, 40-21. And that's going to be on Spencer. That's number four on Spencer. That must have been in the rebounding action. It looked like, the, uh, like Tom Lynch called a uh, pushing off foul. Away from the ball. Spencer picking up number four and going to the bench. And Herman has it. Janice Adams along the baseline, bottled up and great defense. Tied up that time. But Herman gets the ball back. The arrow pointing toward the Herman basket. You look at Spencer on the holding bench, beside uh, sitting beside Coach Donato. Tori Adams will play it in for Herman into Amy Perry in the corner, getting it out side to Doughty. Back to Tori Adams. Cross board to Janice Adams. Jump shot side of the lane. Off the rim and the rebound taken down by Holden. A tie up again. This time the uh, arrow pointing toward the Holden basket. You can expect to see some more full court pressure. So Spring Shea will play it in along the end line, looking for someone. Liz Nelson hands it off to McCarthy going by quickly. And last break is broken up. Again, a lot of opportunities now. It's going to be important that Herman comes down and scores off of this. Lies the Dowdy spins, goes to the foul line over on the right side to Tori Adams, goes in the lane and draws the foul. Sullivan that time. 
I believe that's going to be free on Sullivan. Sullivan turns and walks away. But the official is pointing at their number. Right on the arm. Nelson covers a lot of ground defensively, too. She really shuts off that right side. Well, that's going to be a timeout for Herman. So Sullivan now picking up her third uh, going to the bench. So Spencer has four, Sullivan has three, and Nelson two. But there are only 445 remaining, 446 remaining in the third period. And that's a pretty good lead for a team like uh, Holton at this point, up 19 in a game that figured to be um, pretty tight. With number two, Herman, and number three, Holton. There's the Holton huddle. Shive Thomas in black uniforms, white trim. Holton was able to come out early and uh, score quickly in that first half, and they were able to run up a lead, and now uh, Herman really fighting an uphill battle. Their shooting percentages haven't been that strong. They've been able to force turnovers, uh, but they need to make sure that they start capitalizing on those. They've given Holton just too many chances. The Holton uh, shooting percentages have held up pretty good so far early in the uh, third period. Most of their shots coming right from within the paint. Very high percentage shots. They like to work the ball inside. In fact, I think the longest shots have been taken by the tallest player. Nelson <laughs> popped a couple in from 10 or 12 feet away. Adams draws her team to uh, within 17 now. And to uh, Nelson, triple team, loses the ball. Up, and it doesn't get the roll. Right there is an example of what we're talking about. Liza Doughty. Picks Nelson. up the foul there. Nelson's a bit frustrated <laughs> coming out of the uh, pile, but Dowdy uh, stole the ball away from her before on that triple team. But right there, we had, we see the lob pass in, you know, we we have a foul here, but on the play before that, Herman came up with a steal, but then missed the bunny. And now yeah. we have a long down court pass. One on one, and Nelson puts it in. You can only give Holton so many chances. But she doesn't, she doesn't miss when she's any, anywhere near the basket, it seems. Thornton, Coach Thornton. Adams goes inside, puts up a jump shot, a little off balance that time. Good defense by the Shire Towners. Pass intended for Nelson, stolen back by Herman. Now it's tied up. And let's see. Tied up and uh, Herman gonna, get the ball yeah, back. Yeah, jump ball. Again, another turnover for Herman. But they give it up on the, uh, they get it back on possession. Herman is putting up a lot of shots when they're not really uh, open shots. Kind of forcing it up there a little bit. Now Dowdy has draws the foul. They're very aggressive and they get rebounds, but they seem to force it. They've had to force it back up a few times, and we found showing, out their percentages aren't, aren't as high as they could be. Not showing good patience there. Another chance here for Herman as they uh, come up with another steal. We have 405 remaining in the third period. Doughty shot rolls off. Doughty on, on for two. Can't convert. Out of bounds and knocked out by uh, Herman. You're going to give Herman points for uh, for their hustle, but unfortunately, those aren't the points that go up on the clock. Almost stolen again, knocked out of bounds. Last touch to by Holden, and Herman gets it right back. They really hustle, and the Shire Towners are having some trouble right now with the Herman defense. Downing to Adams. Janice Adams backs up, gives it back to Downing on the right side for the right-hander, and the rebound is knocked around. Good save. Saved in by Herman, picked up by Liz Nelson, and she's fouled. Just not their day right now as they make a great save, you know, a nice effort on the save. It goes off the Herman player's foot and right to Nelson. So just not going Herman's way right now. And against a strong team like Holton, you're going to have to take advantage when you can force them to make a mistake. And Herman hasn't been able to do that. That was the fourth foul on pace that time, third team foul on Herman. 
McCarthy from the left side. Boy, <laughs> percentages are holding up. Still shooting very well. They lead by 21 points. Having a good shooting afternoon. Dowdy's jump shot. No good. Rebound Holton. And McCarthy with it. Guarded by Adams going down the sideline. Loses, loses the ball out of bounds, but it's tipped out by Dowdy. Of Herman, so Holton will put the ball in play. Spring Shea plays it in. McCarthy running down the sideline, stops, comes back out front. Long shot is up. Watch that offensive board right there. By that time Nelson not being able to convert off of it, but again, the more offensive rebounds you get, you increase your chances of scoring. Well, Leary missing out front. Herman coming back with it. Wise Downey, guarded by O'Leary. Downing travels. She starts to move toward the paint. I'm sure, this is going to be very frustrating for Herman and Herman fans. They've seen their team uh, play much better than this, and they're just getting. Uh, they're not getting the breaks today. O'Leary, good ball handling guard, brings it back out. McCarthy takes a long one and this time doesn't connect. Knocked around again, scrambled for. Dowdy has it, ball is loose. And now Herman gets it, comes down court. Judy Buzzle on the dribble. Nice shot from the corner that time by Tori Adams. And the team trails by 19. Nelson in to help break the press. In the, in the lane, Jennifer O'Leary with the ball almost pulled loose, and they're calling a foul. See, they got her on the wrist with the holes. Tried to tie her up, and uh, we'll take a moved, look at that here. Moved her feet, but they must have, must have got her. Got her on well. the arm. Again, Holton able to push the ball down the floor that time. And Herman having to retreat and ended up fouling. So that's the third foul on Tory Adams and the fourth team foul on Herman. Third period, 2-10 to go. Grab it, grab it, High off the rim. Nice board by Donato. O'Leary. And calling foul on McCarthy. Coach John Donato. It's going to be 16 fouls. That'll put... Herman in the bonus on the next one. And Sullivan gets ready to come back in. And that's four fouls on McCarthy. So despite having foul trouble, Holton has done a nice job uh, rotating their players in. Spencer's over there with four. McCarthy's over there with four. Holton has a lot of depth. And they're been forced to use it here today. It's paid off okay. Got high up. Travel. Driven by Buzzle. Traveling violation on the Hawks. Or on Holton. Downing comes in. And right away, she passes the wrong player. Right away, Sullivan comes up with it. Now she passes back to Herman. Now what do they do with it? <laughs> Downing puts it up and draws the foul. That time, good job. Nice ball movement to the weak side. But the key is, are they going to make their foul shots? As we see Downing. Down and going on the line. Still a lot of time left. There's 142 left to go in the third period. And Downing doing what she needs to do right now is capitalize on those mistakes. That's going to be the fourth foul on number 33 for Holton. And and she Sullivan. Cuts, cuts the lead. 44 27 now. Holton leading. Sullivan. Double team, the ball is out of bounds. Let's see who touched it last. Knocked out by Pace. I rather not. <laughs> Sullivan lost it out of bounds, and they're giving it back to Herman Downing with it to Pace. Heidi Pace goes along the baseline and draws the foul. Uh, offense. Player control. control that time. As we said, Nelson covers a lot of space down there. Quick movement to the baseline to shut that off. And that's number five as Pace, Heidi Pace has fouled out here for the Herman Hawks. 
You know, we've talked about the foul trouble on Holton. They've got uh, three players with four fouls. Three of their starters right now have four fouls, but they're still doing the job. Nelson's playing with either two or three fouls right now. You see her make the gutsy defensive play right there to draw the fifth foul on pace. Bolton has 17 fouls and Herman has five. Bolton will play the ball in when action resumes. And the ball will be given to uh, Marcy Burr by referee Tom Lynch. Inside Nelson comes down to help out. Now she is foul bottled up. And let's see who's uh, being called for the ball. Might have been Tori Adams. I think they're going to give it to Janice. Could have been either player, I suppose. Janice Adams picks that one up. So that's, that's the sixth team foul. We'll be in the bonus both ways on this next one. We have the long down court pass. Nelson's pass is thrown away, but it's picked up again by uh, Donato. Not getting the touch that time is O'Leary. O'Leary gets it back, goes down to Nelson, and she puts it in. You gotta like the way she squares up, and the one Incredible. thing that she does for a big player that uh, sounds obvious, but she gets off her feet. She jumps, and that's something you don't see a whole lot. And she what? uses her height very well. As we see another turnover, this time a travel for Herman. Liz Nelson is going to be uh, one of the, uh, if not the premier basketball player in Class B in Eastern Maine uh, this year. Definitely. Sullivan inside to uh, Shea. Uh, Herman gets it back. Dowdy running things down court, running the offense. Nelson gets the rebound and let's see is there a tie up or what's going on? No, a whistle. Kicked it out. And quickly down court now from holding Jennifer O'Leary. And she's fine. So O'Leary really pushing the foot the pace. You know, Coach Donato's had to go to his bench, but uh, with these kids in foul trouble, he's been able to keep kids rested. And they're really taking it right to Herman now. And now we have Downing out with foul fu five fouls. So each the foul's adding up on the Herman side. Each team in the one and one. Now, Jennifer O'Leary, a very impressive ball handler off the bench for Holton here this afternoon. And she's now on the foul line. Five for sophomore on for one and one. Extends the lead now to 20 points with 25 seconds, 20, uh, 36 seconds remaining in the third period. Jennifer O'Leary, second shot. And an rebound offensive coming board. down to hold it. Back out to O'Leary. Set it up, dribble. Now she takes the shot to the side of the foul line, missing. Long down court pass and stolen back by O'Leary. Now it's tied up. Yeah, that's right. another. Went on the end line, I guess. Another opportunity given away by Herman. Adams had the ball, but it was on the end line, and Holton gets it back. Now let's see what they do to break the press this time. Sullivan racing down court, going by Adams, but losing the ball on the bounds, and back to go the other way. Good defense that time by Herman, shutting off the sideline. Janice Adams goes in along the baseline, puts up the jumper, and gets the, the shot, gets the roll. 47-29. Well, Pass in is knocked away. Those are the type of shots that Herman wants to be taking. Uh, she went in, she squared up, took a nice shot. Spring Shea puts the ball in play to Donato. O'Leary loses the ball that time. To Herman, and it's tied up as the gun goes off, ending the third period, 47-29. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, it's a real uphill battle now for the number two Herman Hawks as they find themselves trailing Holton High School 47-29. And we begin the third and final period of this first a tournament basketball game that we are televising. Semi-final game for a semi-final game in Class B. And uh, Herman has really got to put it together and it, Holton doesn't show signs of letting that happen at all. No, Holton's doing the things you need to do to win the game. They're taking care of the ball. And 
know they've had some turnovers but yet they're they're more deliberate offensively the shots they're taking are high percentage ones they're good shots to be taken There's Nelson inside puts it up one of the few misses she's had this afternoon and I believe Donato may have just fouled out if not that's going to be number four on her number four on Donato be on the one and one here for the final uh, period you know, we talk about the things you have to do. When you get fouled, you need to make your shots on the foul line. Uh, when you get a steal, you need to take a good shot off of it. Liza Doughty, only a freshman. Boy, she's going to have some career at Herman High School. Five, six freshmen has been the floor general here for the Hawks. Now she ties up the rebound. Tying up Spring Shea, and Herman gets the arrow. They take possession along the end line. Herman's defense, especially the pressure, has been very good. It's the offense that's been giving him problems. Freshman Dowdy takes the long shot, air ball, out of bounds, and knocked out by Herman. So we'll see what Holden does to break, to break the press. This time, we'll bring up Mel Nelson, leads down court, and can't save it in. Spencer coming back in now. Replacing Spring Shea. Again, you have to credit the bench of Holton. They've done a nice job coming in and uh, maintaining this lead. Tori Adams plays it in to Downey. Janice Adams with a jump shot. Rebound coming down to Spencer and Holton. In traffic, moving around, draws the foul from Tori Adams. The Hawks really put the pressure on you in backboard, but Holton has with, withstood it very well. And Andrea Spencer will go down to the foul line. That's going to be the fourth foul on Adams, so really seeing a lot of fouls in this game, and uh, we've already had two players for Herman to foul out. To get a look at Coach John Donato. He's been here, uh, been around for a while, Keith. Been many, many times. He's been uh, coaching basketball at Holton now for 17 years. Dowdy driving through the lane, drawing the foul. And Nelson, I believe, picked that one up. Uh, Spencer was a little worried that it was going to be called on her, but it was Nelson picking up her fourth. Putting three up there for Nelson. Let's see if that's. Uh, yeah. Yes, it will be three. She's done a nice job. Remember, she sat out with uh, two fouls, and it's been a long time she's, since she's picked up that number three. And while she was on the bench, Holton was able to continue to add to their lead, which was a big key, I think, in the first half. They learned they could do that. And that's going to give you some confidence in this. Uh, tournament knowing that you've had some of your big guns out and uh, coach is more willing to substitute when that happens uh, you know you can rest your best players this one's going on O'Leary her oh. second Liza Dotty back on the line a lot of fouling in this ball game 48 31 we're down to the final seven minutes and 17 seconds Shire Tanners, uh, if they can hang on, we'll move into the Class B final, which will be held on Friday night. Another turnover. Downey drives the lane, puts it up and in. That's what they need. Now the Herman fans starting to come alive. Still plenty of time here. Plenty of time. Here. They begin to trap him backboard. Now it's thrown away, but off Herman, I believe it's a whole basketball. No, it's uh, Holton just threw it out of bounds. It's going to Herman. If they can score here, you can hear the crowd getting into the game now. McCarthy coming back in. O'Leary takes a rest for Holton. Corey Adams will play it in. This is a key possession right here. And 
Nice steal by Nelson. Colton shuts him down. Put your hand up to take the pass in. McCarthy in backcourt back to Nelson. 663, a lot of time, as you say, as McCarthy with it. In full court now, trapping defense picks it up for Herman. Adams with it coming down. Three on three. Adams stops the foul line. And the rebound is up by Perry. Big board by Perry. So the Hawks are beginning to rally here late in the game. Now he's got a tie up again. And the arrow. We are fired up now, and Coach Donato wants a timeout as momentum is starting to shift. So what was a huge lead is now only an 11 point lead, 48 to 37. With 6.35 remaining in the ball game. Herman now starting to show what they've been capable of. Boy, they never stopped with that pressure defense, and it has paid off here in the last few minutes. Colton coach John Donato wanting to uh, call his troops in. Again, we said how early in the game he called some quick timeouts knowing that Herman is capable of this, and they've done a nice job of keeping uh, keeping. Herman contained, but right now you can see he's stressing to his team. This game's not over. Boy, Holton appeared to be coasting here a few minutes ago. Now uh, we're only up by 11 with plenty of time. And Herman's doing this, as we said, two starters have fouled out. And uh, a lot of the Holton players right now are living on the edge with four fouls. A continuous trapping defense by the Hawks. It's going to be a quick foul on Judy Buzzle for Herman. And remember the both teams in the bonus right now and again it's going to come down to foul shots. Erica McCarthy will go back on the line for the Holton Shire Towners. Among the uh, team leaders here. Only a junior. Valeria sophomore McCarthy's a junior. We've got a number of people uh, coming back including Andrea Spencer. So Holton just keeps rolling on. It's a big foul shot right there. And you talk about the things you need to do to win, and these are the things you need to do. Rebound coming down to Herman. Dowdy quickly down court. The Hawks race down the other way. You can waste no time. This is Dowdy up off the rim. Making a quick one there. And now Holton comes away with it. Spencer. Jim McCarthy. McCarthy goes around toward the right side now. Guarded closely by. Spencer with it, goes inside, takes a shot, draws the foul. So they keep going to the basket, too. That foul's on Adams. Janice Adams, Adams went down hard out, out front. Well, her foot got stepped on him. She went down. There's no foul there. Holton extending the lead now to 13. But the timeout paid off. Donato, Coach Donato called the timeout and nice. down them down a little bit. Nice composure that time by Spencer, too. 51 37. Adams jump shot. Can't, uh, can't seem to connect right now when it counts. Perry off the backboard. And Donato coming away with it. Nelson back to Donato. Now she thinks better at shooting. It's Nelson for the jump shot. Off. Nelson with the rebound. Goes inside, pushed off, and follows on Perry. Again, just as it looked like Herman was starting to get back into it, we see them making those same mistakes, not taking good shots. And uh, it's the little things that pay off in the end. That time you saw uh, Liz Nelson following a shot, getting that offensive rebound. Drawing the foul from Perry. Spencer making the foul shots. Uh, it all adds up. As we see Nelson here battling hard and with the body, Perry picks up her third foul. Crowded away from the ball by, uh, by Perry. Nelson is very intense, very determined, no nonsense player when she's on the court. It's all business while she's out there. And everything is, uh, she seems like everything is important. Everything she does is she does with determination. We noticed on one play down on this end, Keith, uh, just a couple moments ago. She was hustling, scrapping all over for the ball. It went out of bounds, went off her. She was the first one to stand up and say, let's get back into it, you know, get into the defense. Just nonstop hustle. Number 43 walking back out of the court. 
has a pile of points today. Had 34 in the quarterfinal game that Holton won over MDI. With 538 remaining in this ball game, and Holton has a 14-point lead. Nelson will be on the line for two shots. Everybody had to laugh on that one, except maybe the coach. You know, uh, I don't think she's used to uh, banking them off the board like that. <laughs> Rebound coming down to Herman. As Nelson misses the second shot. Dowdy tries to get into Perry. Now diving on it is Donato, and he's got a tie up again. And the, whole, the Shire Channels will get the ball back. The arrow pointing toward the Holton basket. Donato will play it in. What we got going on now? Oh, the arrow was pointing in the wrong direction. It should have been a Herman basket ball, and it is. A little trouble, a little confusion with the arrow from time to time. Now uh, Adams will play it in along the end line. Rebound is knocked away. McCarthy. Is Almost stolen back again. Close. Donato now it's scrambled for. Nelson has it. We've tied it. Ooh, tied it up again. <laughs> Timber. This time it's pointing toward the open basket. Donato. And good defense, but a foul, I guess. Uh, over guarding there and picking up the foul that time is Liza Doughty. Came over the back that time. That's only her second foul. But again, what happens is it puts Holton on the line to score some more points. Very fundamentally sound and typical of uh, the Holton teams that we've seen through the years. Maintaining poise under pressure. Al Herman, let's see what the Hawks can get going here. 52 to 37. Still time to begin to connect on some of these. And there we go. There's a big three right there by Janice Adams. A few of those would get him right back in here in a hurry. Nelson double teamed and a foul. That's going to be on Dowdy. That's her third foul. That was close to being uh, Coach Thornton over there. Thought that was all ball. You know, the when foul you, was just before the uh, the tie-up. What happens whenever you press like that? As we can see, Doughty's going. They've got her trapped, and she reaches in to try to tie it up, and we're blocked out on that. Uh, but she got her on the arm, and that puts Nelson on. But a key board right there by Spencer. She travels coming off the rebound. So Holton still there, hanging tough. It's 12 points. Spencer Def tried to take a step and put it up, and. Uh, Took an extra step. Now Herman rolls it down court to keep the clock from starting. Long that pop short. that time by Downey. It goes out underneath. So four 52 remaining, 52 40, a 12 point lead down to Nelson as she goes down. Two on two. Spencer is five. And that's going to be on Adams. We're spending a lot of time on the foul line. The and final I think that's, few minutes. that's number five for her. So there's another key player for Herman. We'll have to sit down. They, you expect whenever you press like uh, Herman does, you expect that you're going to pick up some fouls. Good game played by Tori Adams and the uh, entire Holton team. The bench, everybody's coming over to shake the hand of Tori Adams. We've talked a lot this game about the foul trouble of Holton, but it's been Herman that's... Uh, had the players go sit down as Adams comes over. Great pass by Nelson over to Spencer as they beat the pressure with a long down court pass. She decided that if she was going to foul, she was going to prevent the shot. But Holton's done a nice job. They've had a lot of players in foul trouble. They just haven't, uh, they haven't picked up number five.
used the bench well, and they seem to have a lot of depth, as is typical of many uh, Fulton teams. Spencer's second shot here. Rebound tipped high. Let's see, Herman gets it. Dowdy quickly coming away with it. Looks inside, down low it goes to Adams, but can't hold on. And lost out of bounds. Knocked out by Holden. Knocked out by Spencer. And it's played in, intended for Perry. Perry does finally get it. Shot the side of the lane. Not enough on it, lost out of bounds. Herman gets it back to try again. Again, they still have enough time to pull this off, but they've got to take good shots. And that right now is the difference between Holton and Herman. Holton uh, playing much more deliberately and getting the good high percentage shots. Picked up that time by Holton. Bad pass. McCarthy has it. Started closely in back They're going to try to trap her. She gets it over to Sullivan. Been effective in breaking the press. And now we've got a foul that's on Dowdy again. I believe that's going to be that's four it. on her. So four, another, they... another key player close to fouling out. Yeah, this time the foul puts Sullivan on the foul line. Again, if uh, Herman begins to connect and have a few three pointers, and uh, there's still time because they're down by 12, while well, 13 now, 409 remaining in the ball game. Tim Thornton sees uh, Coach Thornton sees it time slipping away there. The lead. Extended to 14 points. Back from the Hawks. Torrey down to Adams cross court, but stolen away. Dangerous pass. And Holton comes away with it. At this point for Holton, it's just important to maintain possession of the ball. They don't need to score any more points. They need to take smart shots. Nelson puts one up and Dan Spencer is fouled. And that's going to be on Heather Pace. It's going to put Holton back on the line with the opportunity to extend the lead. Ladies, two shots. In terms of time, it's a very lengthy ball game because of all the fouls being committed. They were Herman was in the one and one was was shooting the one and one before the end of the first period, and Holton was in the one and one situation about a minute into the second period. So we saw a lot of foul shots in the first half. The same thing's happening here in the second half. 3.42 remaining. Adams up and off. Had the chance, but couldn't connect. Herman will get another shot at it. Judy Buzzle plays it in. A long three-point attempt at that time is missed by Pace. Sullivan in four court. Puts two defenders but loses the ball. Another and the ball on Sullivan. I think that's going to be number five for Sullivan. And that is O'Leary coming in. So there's the first Holton play, play a two foul out. As we said, the food, they've done very well walking that, walking that's that right. line. Everybody's got three or four fouls, but nobody had five until Sullivan fouled out. That puts Heather Pace on the line. Number 21, sophomore at 5'6. Now we've got another steal underneath Janice Adams, and she's tied up right away. With Jennifer O'Leary. Herman gets it back underneath the basket. Pace with it in the corner. Guarded by Donato. Gets it out to Dowdy. Dowdy starts to go in the corner. Underneath. Too much good, on that pass. Good hard pass intended for Curry, but too hot to handle. She had the shot. Should have put that shot up. 54 to 40. 14 point lead. 305 remaining in the game. Shire Town is out in front. McCarthy racing down court. On the right side. Knocked away from her and picked up by Dowdy. Hawks hurry back with it to see what Dowdy sets up. Takes a three-point attempt off the rim. Just about on the, on the line, the three-point line that time. Shires get it back. And he 
leaning in and uh, committing the foul. That's going to be buzzer. That's going to be the fourth Herman player to foul out. So Janice Adams coming in to replace her is Marcy Burr. And things not looking good for Herman at this point. Down by 14 with 2.45 to go and four players now for Herman have fouled out. The winner of this one advances to the Eastern Maine B final to be played on Friday night at 7.05. And the winner of this one, which is looking more and more like Shire Towners, they're leading 55 to 40, will play the winner of the Camden uh, Rather Ellsworth Rockland game. Rockland number one plays Ellsworth number four this evening at 7.05 in that game. And all the others from here on in will be carried on main public television. 225, 235. Off tip high and foul being called. So John this time, Heather Pace maybe. One's going to be on no. Perry. That's four That's on. That's four on her. Amy Perry. So, Liz Nelson will go back on the line again. We're going back and forth from foul line to foul line. The final few minutes of this one. Coming in is Stephanie Hoff, a six-one sophomore, number fifty-four for Herman. As Perry goes out with four fouls, and Coach Thornton. Looking to get some players in. Give some other players a little experience, tournament experience. Puzzle, and there's a long one. And that's good, a three point shot that time by Liza Dowdy. Finally connects with one. 55 to 43. Here goes the bomb again. Stolen back by Huff. Marcy Burr takes the shot. Rebound coming down this time to Holton. Triple team, Donato stolen back away from her, but missing is Buzzle. Holton gets it back in a foul being called on Buzzle now. Every time it looks like they're out of it, they do something to come back. But it's well, a little a too late right now, I would say, Keith. 12 point game with 155 on the clock. Again, uh, been done before, but the Holton team is pretty, pretty poised ball team that doesn't have a habit of letting games slip away. That's true, and Herman's shooting percentages today are just uh, way off from what they normally shoot. Fifty-six, forty-three. Erica McCarthy, second shot, in and out. Rebound to Dowdy. Holton has scored a bunch of points from the foul line, Keith. I know in the first half they had 11, and they've filed on some more here in the second half. So they've really taken advantage of Herman's foul trouble. Broken up by Holton, but knocked out of bounds, and Herman gets it back. Dowdy outside, looking to connect some long ones. Off again, Spencer with a rebound. Going Another back. steal. <laughs> they don't give up. Holton fouling, Jennifer O'Leary. Committing the foul. That's only, uh, well, that's her third. And it'll put Judy Buzzle, the 5 5 freshman, on the line. A couple of freshmen contributing today for Herman. Buzzle has been in and out. The team, of course, is uh, being led by freshman Liza Doughty, the 25. Going to the bench now is Jennifer O'Leary. High up. This time the arrow goes to Holton. Spencer's done a nice job on the boards for Holton. Again, she's involved in that play. Donato, long down court pass to Nelson going in. Whoop. Moves inside along the baseline, but can't get a shot away. Herman hustles back on defense. See, there's a difference right there. Holton did not try to force that shot. Nelson knew she didn't have the angle, right. so she kicked it back out. McCarthy brings it back out. And they set it up. 
they just want to eat some clock at this point. Nelson dribbles around, fires it up, and in. But they'll take a layup if they can get it. 58-43, down nearing the one minute mark. Spinning and weaving and putting it up. Another, is Doughty, but missing. It's another Spencer rebound. And she's going to go to the foul line as Doughty. Maybe uh, that's, that's all for Doughty. That's the fifth player. It's uh, you got to wonder how many more players they've got left over there. It's bound to happen, I guess, when you play that pressure trapping defense for the entire game. And Dowdy is congratulated on a good game by the Holton Shire Towners. You know, the one thing you can say about Herman, everybody they've sent in there has been full of desire and full of hustle. They That's right. They keep scrapping, they come up with the turnovers, they just haven't been able to do anything with it. Holden had the very high percentages, percentage uh, from the floor in the first half, hitting with 54%. I don't think they've had quite the same shooting percentage in the second half, but it's But they're taking smart pretty good, shots. Pretty well. You know, they're working the ball inside, they aren't forcing things. That's a sign of a good team. 22 coming in. Another freshman for Herman. They're, they're loaded up with freshmen. That's Laura Smith, number 22, 5'5. Five, five. Freshman. Andrea Spencer up and in. Got the roll. 59 to 43. And Herman going to the bench trying to get everybody in now. Got number 40, Charity Munson coming in. 44, Kerry. Kluke. Everybody's going to get a chance to play in this one. Huff for the big board. Stephanie Huff, 6'1 sophomore, takes it down. And the Hawks down court. Inside, lost away. Last touch by Charity Munson. Holden will play it in with 45 seconds on the clock. Herman continues to play. Going for that defense. touchdown again. And Huff gets it back. Quickly Herman being cheered on here. The younger players being cheered on by their fans up and rooting. But Holden has this one well in hand. And we count down the final 30 seconds here. The Shire Towners will advance to the Eastern Main final. How many times have we said that, Keith? <laughs> and it's thrown away, though, by McCarthy. A pass that Donato could not handle. Not too many subs coming off the Holton bench. With 19 seconds remaining. Herman giving everybody a shot at it here. But uh, most of the Holton starting five is still in. For a good number of them. Yeah, and you've got to credit those Holton players for playing with that foul trouble and Right. Being able to stay in and still contribute. Spencer, rebound, Huff, and the final 59 to 43. So number three upsetting, number two, 59 to 43. As the teams congratulate each other, the Shires will move on to the Friday night Eastern Maine final against the winner of tonight's game between number one Rockland and number four Ellsworth. A lot of action coming up this afternoon yet to go. The boys game next between Rockland and uh, Herman. And then this evening again a girls game between Rockland and Ellsworth. And then the nightcap John Baps boys against the Camden Rockport boys. And we'll be back in a moment.